The Duke of Kent retires as Colonel of the Scots Guards and is replaced by the Duke of Edinburgh. The Duke of Kent is stepping down as Colonel of the Scots Guards in his 50th year in the role. The Duke, now 88, will be replaced by the Duke of Edinburgh. Change comes on 14 April 2024 when the Duke of Kent attends the regiment's annual Black Sunday events in London. Black Sunday is the annual Remembrance Day of the Scots Guards. The Duke will attend a memorial mass in the Guards Chapel at Wellington Barracks. Then, half a century after becoming Colonel, he will salute for the last time at a Scots Guards parade. The Scots Guards are one of five foot guards regiments within the home division of the British Army. They played important roles in some of the largest military battles in British history including the Battle of Waterloo. As he prepared to step down, the Duke of Kent said, serving as Colonel of the Scots Guards since 1974, the longest anyone has served in that position, has been a true honour and will forever fill me with great joy. During those years, I witnessed the work of the Scots Guards in times of peace and war and witnessed their bravery, selfless bravery and devotion to duty. To my colleagues in the Scots Guards, I am very proud to serve you all. I am delighted that His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh will continue to support everything you do and work to preserve your great heritage. The new colonel, the Duke of Edinburgh, said, the Duke of Kent was an exceptional colonel of the Scots Guards. Quite apart from his depth of knowledge and keen understanding of the regiment and all those who serve, past and present, he was a passionate and tireless advocate. It is a great honour for His Majesty to ask you to serve as the next colonel and to entrust him with it. However, I accept this with a degree of trepidation because I will undoubtedly be measured against the tremendous record and reputation of my predecessor. I can only promise to do my best effort. Tributes to the Duke of Kent also came from Lieutenant Colonel of the Scots Guards, Colonel J.D.K. Lisk, who said, the Duke of Kent was at the head of the Scots Guards for 50 years. He is the only colonel most of us have ever known. He was a constant in a rapidly changing world. His loyalty was the regiment and its selfless commitment to the country is an example to us all. Queen Elizabeth II personally intervened to ensure the safety of her cousin, the Duke of Kent, after information emerged that the IRA was planning to kidnap him. The Duke was sent to Northern Ireland with the Royal Scots Greys in 1971. However, the former Prime Minister of Northern Ireland, 